The next question says, what does increasing marginal opportunity costs mean? So increasing marginal opportunity costs refers to uh, a situation in which you're making trade-offs between goods. Uh, we can think about this in terms of the two good model that we kind of um, often use when talking about uh, um, the production possibilities frontier. So it's gonna look like this. You have like good X and good Y and quantity of both on each axis, right? So the increase in marginal opportunity costs is actually uh, the reason why we see that the uh, PPF production possibilities frontier is bowed outward instead of a straight line here, right? Why is there not, a, if we had constant marginal opportunity costs, AKA trade-offs, then we know that for every unit of X we produce, we give up a, a constant amount of Y. Um, the reason it's bowed out is because the difference, the amount of Y that you give up for each unit of production is going to go up as you continue to produce. So, um, basically, uh, in terms of what it means, it basically uh, is pretty self-explanatory. It means that marginal opportunity costs increases as you continue to produce a good. Uh, I think the best way to do this is visualize here. So let's take uh, a couple uh, units of uh, X as an example, right? So we'll do... Let's do five, five units of X. Let's say that five units of X, the maximum amount of units of X you could produce if you use all your resources there. So we know that uh, when we're producing, or we don't need to do that here. When we're producing at, you know, X is equal to one, we give up, if we go from zero to one, we give up in, in this poorly drawn graph that I've made, we give up no Y, right? We, we give up a very small amount of Y, right? We go from, uh, this point here, now, let's see if I can change it to color. We go from this point here to this point here. Basically uh, a marginal drop, right? Very little, low margin, uh, low trade-off. And that means that the opportunity cost is low, right? The opportunity cost of additional unit of, of X is going to be the drop in the production of Y. And so the drop in the production of Y here is marginal. And so <clears throat> we start off when producing X having very low marginal, very low opportunity cost. Let's say um, if we put a value to it, opportunity cost at X equals one is zero, right? Uh, I don't know why I drew it this way. Uh, X production and opportunity cost. Um, so if X equals one, opportunity cost is like 0 0.01, right? Very low. Okay, so let's go from the one to two. Uh, if you go from one to two, now we see there's a slight drop, right? We go from this point to this point, uh, there's gonna be uh, a little drop in production, right from here to here. And we're gonna say from X one to two, we have an opportunity cost of I don't know, one, right? So producing one additional unit of X causes opportunity cost here to drop by one unit. Okay, so what happens if we go to three? So we can see here that there's already a trend of marginal opportunity cost increasing. Uh, we go from uh, two to three, we're gonna get a point right here, draw a little bit bigger and we see this gap is starting to get bigger. Oh. See this gap is starting to get bigger and bigger. We'll call that two. Go to four, big gap, big drop. Uh, we'll call that three and at five, we suddenly see, you know, we're at zero, right? So let's say I got five for some reason, the way I've drawn this, the opportunity cost is like 15, right? And so, uh, we can see here that as production of X has gone from zero to one to two, to three to four to five, the marginal opportunity cost has gone from 0.01 to one to two to three to like 15, right? So marginal opportunity cost has increased over time. And as a result, we have this bowed outward opportunity cost or sorry, production possibilities frontier. And that 
illustrates uh, increasing opportunity cost. That as uh, production goes up, we give up more and more of the other good. Okay. The question then is why why is that the case? Why do we see increasing marginal opportunity costs? And the reason for this, uh, or one really big reason, and the way I like to think about it, is that not all resources are created equal, right? Uh, let's say that good X refers to uh, wheat and good Y refers to cars. So if I'm this country that has uh, two goods that I can produce, I can either produce uh, cars or wheat, and then I have a bunch of resources. I have some steel, I have some dirt, I have some seeds, I have some uh, hose, I have some uh, you know, wheels, uh, and I can choose to utilize my resources uh, to produce uh, either good. So obviously, steel is going to be more well-suited to producing cars than wheat, whereas uh, dirt is going to be more uh, suited to producing wheat than cars. Uh, so if we see that we're at either extreme, let me, let's say I use all my resources, I'm trying to produce all wheat. That means I'm using my steel, I'm using my wheels, I'm using my engine blocks to all produce wheat, even though those things would be better used to produce cars. And so let's say I want to start to lower my production of wheat from five to four. Um, or, uh, you know, what I want to see is that my production drop for uh, from cars is going to be relatively little, right? Uh, you know, that's because a lot of the resources I'm taking away to start producing cars with are resources that are better uh, suited to producing cars anyways. Like, you know, taking away wheels from my wheat production is not going to decrease my wheat production by that much, but it could really jumpstart my production of cars. And so that's one main reason that uh, we're going to see this increase in marginal opportunity costs. Because as we continue to allocate resources and take them away from uh, wheat and put them to cars, that's where you're going to start seeing these trade-offs where you have, uh, you know, uh, a lot of uh, problems with now you're cutting into wheat production by taking away the wheat oriented resources and putting them towards cars instead. And so that is uh, going to be more of the issue uh, when we come to that. So that's going to illustrate kind of the rationale why increasing marginal opportunity cost occurs. So now that we have that all set down, uh, why don't we take a look at what the uh, uh, previous tutor has said. So previous tutor said the increasing marginal opportunity cost is an economic principle that helps the business come up with financially prudent decisions. The marginal opportunity cost is the cost that the business incurs after it produces additional products. They may have to buy additional raw materials and equipment and hire new employees to produce and sell the said product. It also factors in what the business stands to lose if it will keep on producing the same products instead of producing an entirely different products that can attract the interest of a new customer. The marginal opportunity cost takes all of these into consideration. So a, kid, a business can make better decisions when it comes to maximizing profits. Um, uh, so I think this is, this answer choice is too business oriented. Uh, normally when we talk about increasing marginal opportunity costs, we are talking about the PPF. So I'm just going to supplement this answer by including an explanation of the relationship between increasing marginal opportunity costs and the two good model. So uh, why don't we just type that up right here? So we say uh, increasing marginal opportunity costs is often discussed in relation to the two good model and the production possibilities frontier. The uh, this uh, it refers to the idea that as a as a firm slash country decides to produce additional units of good X uh, good X and Y we introduced that earlier. And for somebody as a firm country that has to produce additional units of good X, it uh, must give up more and more units of good Y as opportunity cost. Um, 
this uh, relationship uh, explains why the PPF is outwardly is outwardly bowed rather than a straight line. Um, and then we're going to go in the rationale. The reason the in marginal opportunity or costs increase is because certain resources are better suited to production of good X rather than good Y or vice versa. Um, as you produce good X to towards one of the extremes, resources end up being used in an in inefficiently. Let's see what the so I don't know what Okay. Uh, and so let's take a look at our final answer. We said that increasing marginal opportunity cost is often discussed is often discussed in relation to the two good model, goods X and Y, and the reduction possibilities for PPF. The first idea that as a firmer country decides to produce additional units of good X, it must give up more and more units of good Y as opportunity costs. This relationship explains why the PPF is outwardly bowed rather than a straight line. The reason marginal opportunity cost increases is because certain resources are better suited to the production of good X rather than good Y or vice versa. As you produce good X towards one of the extremes, resources end up being used inefficiently. Uh, and then say, moving away from the, uh, the or so this inefficiency causes, causes the opportunity cost to be greater. Okay, as resources are moved away from their efficient uh, use. Okay, and then we're going to say that's cor correct.